We got our lamb back. The first thing you're going to want to do is rinse it off. The lamb actually came in contact with the table at the butcher, with the saw. You can have pieces and fragments of bone in your lamb. So what you want to do is give it a thorough rinse when you get home. Out of the water, lay it on a wire rack because it allows the moisture to come out of the lamb, allowing room for the Maillard reaction to happen. The Maillard reaction is caramelization. We want caramelization when we brown our meat, so we want that layer of flavor locking into each piece of lamb while the delicious flavors marry on the outside. What I'm gonna do is season it first, dry brown. So each piece, heavy. We wanna build our flavors starting now. Give them a turn, mix them all up. In Morocco, they use a preserved butter called smen, very similar to ghee. So if you have ghee, use ghee. If you have smen, use smen. If you don't have either, use olive oil, all good. We're gonna put a few teaspoons of our smen. Let that come up to temperature. And from here, we're gonna brown our lamb. You could smell that smen or ghee. And we don't have to go too crazy with adding a lot of fat because that delicious fat from the lamb, that's going to melt down and add flavor and texture to your meal. So brown each piece and leave room in your pan when you're browning. Don't crowd it. When you crowd your pan, you're going to create steam, the enemy of caramelization, right? We want browning to happen, that Maillard reaction. Don't move it too much. Enjoy this process. We're gonna flip it in a second. Exactly. nice and brown. In this pan right now, the flavors of that fresh brown lamb, that flavor from Marcus Anthony Table Dry Brown, right? Let's now incorporate some flavors into our lamb stew. Like all good stews, onion, whole, garlic cloves. When you're sauteing your vegetables, season them a little bit. Add a little more dry brown. Add sliced ginger. Nice sweet of tomato paste. And add a healthy pinch of that Iranian saffron that we just bought back from Istanbul. Let's also add some Aleppo pepper powder that we also got from our good friend Man. Add a little chicken stock and scrape. That will get flavor. Give it a taste. Delicious. Healthy pinch of one. It's a season up your stew. That's thyme, coriander, paprika, scotch bonnet, black pepper, onion powder, garlic. You see how that just turns that beautiful red color. So much flavor. Now, let's take our lamb back into our pan. All of your flavors. Another majestic and magical ingredient that I learned about in my travel overseas are preserved lemons. This I get from Morocco. So, as a way to preserve lemons and bring out the flavor, you take them and you pack them in salt, just like this. It's something that you can't quite explain. Something magical and delicious happens. The lemon actually preserves, the flavors get brought out. And what you're left with is this flavor bomb. 
almost an umami flavor, but it adds this element that you don't know where that flavor is coming from, what's going on, but it's so deep and it's so easy to make. Just salt and lemon. So what you do is you pack your lemons, pack them in salt, you leave them in a jar. Take out a piece, rinse it off. Not gonna be too salty. Give a chop. Turn, give a dice, in. All your preserved lemons. Put your oven on 400. Get out that shop. Right in. Leave nothing. Now, before this goes into the oven, chicken stock. Cinnamon stick in, cover on. Beautiful. See how the lamb has broken down lamb fat. Beautiful tender pieces of meat. At this point, let's add some nice briny olives. We like that salty sweet. For the sweet factor, let's add some figs. Get that delicious lamb juice all over everything. Put your top on. Back in the oven for an hour. In the meantime, let's put together a nice salad. Quick and easy. Cucumber. Diced tomato. Onion. Skin from cucumber. Dressing, olive oil. Lemon juice. A touch of salt. Mix. Some cilantro. And it's that simple. Bites of fresh to go with that unctuous fatty lamb. Yeah, it's about that time. Let's pull it out. Give it a nice shake. Get everything happy. I'm inviting you to come on this journey with me if I could show you what my experiences were like going somewhere, doing something, traveling, cooking, eating, interacting, that might make it that much easier for you to go and do the same. Take a chance on food, take a chance on your life, your experience, the things that you're passionate about. And as we all are involved in this planet, we take care of it. We take our skill sets and we bring it back to the table. Break bread with each other, be kind, share, eat well. Wagwan!